and neglects. My, my first grandchild in 2019 in a Federal Medical Center died through bleeding, was having a, a drip, and it tissued in the night. There was no help, no doctor, no nurse, and he bled until he lost over 60% of his blood. And almost going mental, he struggled and fell on the floor, was looking for water to drink, and he, he, he rolled on the floor outside, entered early morning dew, poured the, 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 the dew all over his body, and then that's where they found him. By that time, he had gone into a coma. I, I went, was on my way to Port Harcourt for the 2019 rally. When they called me, I entered the 32-year-old boy. I struggled. They went to go and bring the fibrillator to attempt to revive the heart. It did not work. And I said, how long? They said, it stopped working eight years ago. I used my hand and struggled with my personal physician. I could not revive him. I had to close his eyes and put him in the mortuary. And then I proceeded to Port Harcourt for the rally. He left behind three children. Almost every family has suffered from what is going on in our hospitals. The doctor on duty that night had an emergency in his own private clinic. And he had to abandon the hospital to rush to go and attend to private patients in his own private clinic. So if you are coming in, you can see we can keep you here till 7, 8, because everybody here wants to ask questions, because the Senate is very concerned. Nigerians are very concerned. The same way